So, as I'm watching the game Sunday night, cycling through them all, I got caught up in the Denver vs New Orleans game. And nonetheless, did the Joker put on a show. His way of controlling the game and keeping things under control is truly amazing. Last night, Jokic was leaving it all out there on the court and was showing us his full arsenal of skills. Jokic was super efficient as he shot 72% from the field and making 16 of 22 shots and shot 60% from the three, making three of his five attempts. To add to his efficient night, Jokic also not only showed us his vision with 11 assists, but also did some work down low by grabbing 12 boards as well. With a win over the Pelicans, who were on a four-game win streak, Jokic posted a 46-point triple-double. But the most, impre the most impressive part was watching and seeing how he guided his team late in the game and sealed the win for them. So starting around the 10 minute mark in the 4th, we start seeing the Jokic show. As he had just checked in, he finds Will Barton flaring off a screen from Austin Rivers, which leads to a layup for the Denver Nuggets. Jokic a couple possessions later comes down and plays great defense on CJ McCollum uh, on the pick and roll to stop the Nuggets from adding on to their lead and then immediately runs the floor and establishes himself as a paint presence and uses amazing footwork to spin in the paint and get the turnaround hook shot. The next offensive possession, the Nuggets are down by 7 and Jokic finds Aaron Gordon on a slip screen and brings in the Nuggets within 6 after Gordon splits the two free throws. After those three throws from Gordon, the Pelicans come down on offense and Jokic shows great late shot clock defense by staying down on his feet and getting his hands up to contest a spin jumper from Valanchunas, resulting in a Nuggets scoreless possession. Even though in this possession here, we're going to see a miss from Morris, this is the exact way Jokic was setting up his teammates going forward as we see the double come to Jokic as he's able to find Morris open for the three point shot. Not too much later, we see Morris and Jokic use the pick and roll action and Jokic finds himself open in the mid range to knock down the 15 foot jumper. The next possession coming down, on offense we see another pit double pick and roll, play at the elbow as Jokic sets a pick for Aaron Gordon and Morris and then gets the ball off the roll. Instead of settling for the jump shot again, he takes Valanciunas off the dribble for the right hand scoop layup to bring the Nuggets back within 7 points. With 5 minutes left in the game, Morris and Jokic run the high ball screen again as Jokic pops off the screen. He takes Valanciunas off the dribble again, but this time all the way from the 3 point line and throws down the dunk for the Nuggets and now is hype up in the building. With 3 minutes left to go and the Nuggets down 10, Jokic stays calm drawing the double team and finds Gordon cutting back door for his 10th assist of the night. The Nuggets call a timeout after CJ McCollum 3 and fresh off the timeout, Jokic takes another defender off the dribble from the 3 point line again and completes the and one play and knocks down the free throw. McCollum then comes down the court and misses a fadeaway jumper with Jokic in position to get the rebound. He then pushes the ball coast to coast to draw the foul on the layup on the other end and knocks down 2 free throws to bring the Nuggets within 6 points. Immediately after knocking down those free throws, Jokic plays great high post defense with 2 minutes left to disrupt the entry pass for a Jeff Green steal. Then he pushes the ball up the floor for a layup to bring the Nuggets within 4 points. Jokic then gives up an offensive rebound on the other side of the ball but then comes back down on the offense and draws a foul on Valanciunas to foul him out and knocks down both the free throws. With the game within 6 points, Jokic sets a high ball screen for Morris, who gets all the way into the lane, brings the Nuggets within 4 minutes left. Let's get right. With the game being close, Jokic travels across the paint to get a clutch block on Hernan Gomez. While grabbing the board, he gets fouled and we see some strong emotion from Jokic, but he goes on to make the two free throws on the other end, which brings the Nuggets within 2. After a made free throw from Graham, the Nuggets are down by three as Jokic catches the ball, draws baseline, and throws down the dunk to bring, the th with, bring them within one and then draws a foul on the next possession down again and knocks down both free, go free throws to tie the game for the Nuggets. In the final play of regulation, Jokic steals the last inbound and almost assisted on the game winner, but it fell short and the Nuggets force overtime. In the first play of overtime, Jokic draws the double and spins baseline to go finish a reverse layup to take the lead. And a couple of possessions later, Jokic is doubled in the post again and wraps the ball to Morris for a wide open three pointer for his 11th assist of the game. With this being a key possession in the game, Jokic finds Gordon on the cut who then moves the ball out 
and then the ball finds its way all the way around the perimeter to a wide open Morris who misses the three but then Jokic moves his defender out the way for an Aaron Gordon put back layup which puts them up one point. After Brandon Ingram draws an offensive foul on the other end, Jokic navigates and relocates out of a double team and knocks down the clutch contested three to put the Nuggets up four. Two possessions later, after a turnover from Jokic, he makes it up by directing the play and knocking down the 17-foot jumper off the pick and roll. These are all the plays that iced the game and led to the Nuggets win over the Pelicans. Jokic was on a mission tonight and he was not going to lose this game. The, the Nuggets are battling for a better spot in the Western Conference and as the MVP race comes and narrows down with only a couple months left in the regular season, Jokic is making a great case for MVP. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about Jokic and do you think he will win MVP now? I know we've done a couple videos on him. We're going to probably do more. We're going to do more of Giannis, Joel, all these players. Drop the comments of who you want to see next. It's your boy Tushardi. I hope y'all are having a great, beautiful, blessed day and I'm out.